Hey everyone, my name's Aubrey, and this is my very first YouTube makeup tutorial. Um, I'm going to be using my Naked palette from Urban Decay that I just bought yesterday. Um, this has to be a really quick intro because my camera's about to run out of memory, but yeah, this is the look. I'll put pictures at the end so that you can see it a little bit better, but I hope you enjoy the tutorial. Keep yesterday, watching. I was at Ulta, and I was supposed to be Christmas shopping for my friends, but I got sidetracked, and I bought a little something for myself instead. I have been dying to get this palette since it came out. Like, I am so excited that I found this, and it was the last one left. I'm sure you've all watched reviews on this before, but basically, it comes with all these gorgeous shadows, and I'm going to do a tutorial on them for you today. Yeah, it comes with one of their liners, and it's just um, their zero liner, their plain black liner. And then it comes with... Um, whiskey this gorgeous I don't know if you can read this I don't really know how well this camera zooms in but it's this gorgeous like brown chocolatey warm brown liner and it's so pretty oh and it comes with a little primer potion okay let's get started so when I'm using shadows like when I use darker shadows or like glittery shadows that tend to have a lot of fallout I know most people like to put powder under here but I actually like to use um, a concealer that is like a couple shades lighter than my skin tone. And what I do is I lay it on really heavily. Like I just, this is just like a cheapy CoverGirl concealer. But I lay it on there really heavily. And that way, while I am doing my eye makeup, this catches my fallout. And then I can blend it out across my cheekbones. And it leaves a really nice highlight. Um, okay, so... I'm only going to be using two brushes today, and one of them is this e.l.f. brush, eyeshadow brush. It was a dollar. It'll do the trick. This is my Sonia Kashuk, like, blending brush thing. So first, I'm going to prime my lid using the primer potion that comes in. That was way too much. This should probably cover both my eyes. So anyways, I'm just going to slick that on there. and blend it out. Next, I'm going to take this like I don't know, medium brown super shimmery color called Sidecar. I don't know if you can read it, but that's the color. Um and I'm just going to pack that all over my lid with my elf brush. Just going to pack that all over my lid. Next, I'm going to take this, okay, this is my favorite color in this palette. It's Dark Horse, and it's like a chocolatey brown with gold shimmer chunks in it, and it is so pretty. I love it. Okay, so I'm just going to take that and start, like, right at the edge of my lash line and sweep it in towards the middle of my lid and up into my crease a little bit but I want to keep it very um, like strictly in the outer third of my lid I don't want to bring it in too far and I'm angling my brush out a little bit as if I were doing a wing just to get a really pretty shape from that so I'm gonna bring that into my crease a little bit mm. Bring it over so we have that nice gradient effect between the two shadows. Next I'm going to take my blendy brush with a little bit of, I think I'm going to mix some smog and some creep. It's like a, like a really shimmery brown and black with some silvery glitter in it. I just want to use that uh, creep to darken up the smog a little bit and I'm just gonna I barely took any of that on the end of my brush like seriously if you can see this I'm just barely tapping it in both of them and I'm just gonna use that 
to blend out this outer part here and then blend a little bit onto my lower lash line just very lightly. I like using this big brush it's a little bit more like you have to be really careful when you're using it on your lower lash line because it's so big but I think it just deposits the right amount of shadow on there. I'm going to take some Naked which is the title of the palette. I'm going to take it on my blending brush and I'm just going to use that to blend out the whole top part and kind of um, that will help transition into the brow bone color a little bit. So just going to blend that along like right under my brow bone, right where the actual bone is, that's where you want to blend. And I like using a matte shadow to do this because then it doesn't look like you have shimmer all the way up to god knows where. So then for my highlight, I'm just going to take some Virgin mixed with a little bit of Sin to add in a little extra shimmer. I'm just going to blend that across my brow bone like so. And then I love to take shadows down this front part of my eye. Um, I just love having like shimmer right in there. I think I did it on accident once when I was younger and have always done it since. So I'm just, yeah, bringing that right into my tear duct a little bit. Same on the other side. down through that front part, across the tear duct. Alright, I am back with foundation on my face and concealer on my blemishes. And now I'm just going to um, do my brows and throw on a little bit of black liner. So, taking Zero, the liner that comes in the palette, I'm going to rim my eyes completely so I'm just gonna draw that all up on my waterline oops a little over smudged and up in my tight line as well now since it's the middle of the day I'm gonna I'm not going to worry about doing my top lash line because I think that would, I don't know, I just think it'd be a little too much for day, but if you wanted to, you could go ahead and do like a liquid line or smudge the black into your upper lash line, but I'm not going to do that. All right, and now I'm just going to take some of that black shadow, that creep, and I'm going to just pull down and stick a little bit of that right over that shadow that I or that liner that I just applied. Alright, I'm really sorry, but my camera is running out of memory on me and I don't want to go upload it and then um, start filming again. So, basically I just added a little mascara. Um, it's L'Oreal Carbon Black Voluminous. I did my foundation, powder, blush, and a little Estee Lauder lip gloss. I'll put all the products in the description box. Um, and yeah, that's my um, Urban Decay Naked Palette look. Um, hope you enjoyed it. I'll put pictures at the end as well. Thanks for watching.